technology can bridge the gap for people with disabilities. So our, our goal here is inclusive improv. I reached out to an improv school asking if I could participate in improv classes and they told me they don't mean to be discouraging but they couldn't figure out how I would be able to participate and learn improv because improv in their definition is visual and as a deafblind person they couldn't figure out how I would be able to participate in the program. I really believe that uh, we're going to prove today that it absolutely can be done. I think it is a very uh, appropriate and an excellent art form for people with disabilities. So my own sculpture is called Attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you just said, you have to change it to something else. I hurt my brain <laughs> trying to do all the breathing. <laughs> You're in the right place. <laughs> You're in the right office. <laughs> You're in the right building. <laughs> You're in the right town. <laughs> We breathe well here. <laughs> the first deaf-blind improviser. I haven't heard of anyone else, and I like the title of being first. <laughs> so if you're going to give me the title, I'll take it. <laughs> so dope. Keep me going. This has been incredibly fun and inclusive and supportive. So I, I hope we can do this again. Yeah. Yeah.